Welcome to Adventures with a Very Small Lathe. For Tips Blips 2019, I'm going to try and make a set of soft jaws out of this scrap copper pipe. It's ordinary water pipe that I found under the kitchen floor when I was doing some household repairs, but it looks about the right size. The first step is to mark out the right length of pipe needed to make one jaw. As an extra challenge, the floor repairs mean that I don't have a proper bench to fit my vice to it right now, so I'm going to have to hold it still by hand. I'm cutting just over the edge of the line to make sure the length of the pipe is a little shorter than the jaw. Bonus tip, always make sure your vice is securely bolted to the bench. For the next cut, I need to grip the tube along its length and cut across the diameter, so it makes sense to turn the vise sideways. The cut will line up with the first step on the outside of the jaw, so I mark at this point, dividing the tube into two sections of different lengths. I then cut into the pipe at this point, but only cut to about halfway through the diameter. The next cut will be along the tube. It's currently very low in the vise, so I need to raise it up to keep the saw blade clear of the vise jaws. The cut splits the side of the tube along its length, making sure to completely part the longer section, leaving the short section partly intact for the moment. I then use a pair of pliers to bend the sides of the longer section until they are roughly straight and parallel. I can now finish the saw cut, fully parting the sides of the shorter section. The first soft jaw is now about the right shape to fit in place on the chuck. I just need two more the same. It turns out not to be important to cut along the longer section of tube first. It's straightforward to bend the sides straight without bending the short section. The soft jaws are about the right size to fit over the steel jaws, but not nearly the final shape yet. To do the first rough shaping, I tighten the chuck as hard as it can go, bending the copper tube into place around the gripping surfaces of the jaws. I can now bend the tabs on the short section of the tube around the back of the jaw, so the soft jaw stays in place on its own when the chuck is open. Finally, I use pliers to tighten up the shape of the soft jaw, so this sits snugly in place. I can now use the soft jaws to hold parts when I want to reduce the risk of jaws marking a part. Once I'm done with them, they're easy to remove and keep to hand for another time. Oh, and one free extra tip. Never leave your chuck key in the chuck. Check out the Tips Blitz 19 hashtag to find lots more tips videos, all published today by makers and machinists all over YouTube.